Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can create a simple data entry form using Office scripts. Let's take a look. So here's the setup for our Office script data entry form. So our form is going to have three inputs. We have a category, description, and amount input. And here I've just set up our category field with a dropdown list. That's going to allow us to select our category from a predefined list. And our other two inputs here, the description and amount, are just going to be free form. So we can type whatever description and whatever amount we want in here. And with Office Scripts, we're going to create a button that allows us to add this data from our form to the bottom of our data set here. Now, before we create our Office Script, we're going to do a bit more setup. So here, we've just got some raw data. And what we want to do is add this into an Excel table. So we can select it and go up to the Insert tab and click on the Table command. Now, our selection in the first row, we have column headings. So we're going to leave this option checked. My table has headers and press OK. Now up in the design tab, we're going to change the style of our table. We can click on this option here and change it to any of those predefined styles. And most importantly, we're going to name our table. So in the design tab, we have the option here to name our table. And this is how it's going to be referenced in our Office script code. So whatever we name it here, we just need to make sure that it's the same in our code and let's just call this expenses and press enter. And now our table's got the name expenses. And we're gonna do a similar thing with our data entry form. So each of these cells, we're going to give a specific name and that name is going to be referenced in our code. So you can name a cell with the name box. So if we select the cell, we can type in a new name for that. So we're gonna call this category and press enter and now that's got a new name. And we can do that for each of the other cells, but there's actually a quicker way to do this. So I'm just gonna press undo. And because we've got labels here and the name that we wanna give the cell is the same as the label, we can select these and go up to the formula tab and create our named ranges from a selection. And here we wanna create the names from the left column and let's press OK. And now if we check these out, you can see that we've got a category name, a description name, and an amount name for our cells. Now let's create the Office script for our data entry form. And we can do that in the Automate tab. We can click on the new script command. And that's gonna open up the code editor with a sample script. And we can delete the sample script and paste in our script for our data entry form. So this script is fairly simple. First up, we're getting the active sheet. And next up, we're getting the values from our data entry form. So these are the values in our category, description, and amount named ranges. After that, we're going to get our table. So this is the expenses table. And then we count how many rows are currently in the expenses table. And then based on this row count and our data from our data entry form, we're going to create a new array that we are going to then add into our table. So the new array that we're going to add is just the row count plus one. So this is going to be the new ID for our new row in our table. And then we've also got the value from our category, description and amount fields here. Then after that, we're going to use the add rows method with our table to add in this new row of data. And here you can see that we've got a minus one for the index. And this just means that we're going to add the new data at the end of our table. After we add the new row into our table, then we're going to clear out our data entry form. So here we're going to clear the content from our category, description, and amount cells. Now let's give our script a name and save it. Now, if I press enter, that's going to save the script in OneDrive. 
And OneDrive is personal storage, so other people aren't going to be able to use this script. So instead, what I'm gonna do is save it to SharePoint. And here I've got a folder set up for Office scripts. Let's save it. And now if I go to all my scripts, then you can see the script that's saved to OneDrive and the one that's saved to SharePoint. And you can tell the difference as the icon for the SharePoint one has a little person indicating that it's shared. So let's click on that one. And here you can see that we have a section for script access. And here everyone in our team can run the script. And then we've got an option here to add the script into our workbook as a button. Let's click on that. And that's going to add a button into our workbook. Now we can right click on this button to enter edit mode and then place this and resize it as well. And we'll also be able to change the caption here. And we can go up to the home tab and maybe increase the font as well. And now when we click on this button, it's going to run the code and that code is going to add our items into our table. So let's try that out. So here, let's try adding some data. And let's click on the button. And that data gets added into our table. And then our form also gets cleared as well. So there you go. That's how you can create a simple data entry form with Office scripts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.